Charlotte, your lovingly recovering shopaholic in today's video about the five things I learned about love during my time as a single person. Before I became Mrs. F, when I was Miss F. So, F din yung surname mo dati? Hindi, sa landanan surname ko dati. Ano dapat Miss F? Anyways, I know you all can relate to topics about being in love or being single. So if you can relate to either of those, then please subscribe. Thank you. And because of that, we can go straight to the heart of the video. The first lesson I learned about love is compatibility is king. In reality, the choices for partners is not a buffet. There are only certain kinds that will make a good match to your personality and character. Just like green mango and bagoong. Yes! Perfect combination. I mean, you can't put bagoong on, let's say, bananas. Says who? I mean, you can't put bagoong on, let's say, chocolate cake. <laughs> they don't belong together. So choose someone that will result in a relationship of harmonious balance. Oi, are you okay? Yes. The second lesson I learned about love is somehow connected to the first, in that life isn't a buffet of choices. You know what they say? There are lots of fish in the sea. There are lots of fish in the sea, but you don't want to eat them all. I mean, would you eat a piranha? It's gonna eat you first. Or sharks. I mean, they're still counted as fish in the sea. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> dun 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 katamambay. Huh? Ikaw may bili, ha? Wow. Rude. Anyway, as I was saying, in my younger years, I took the good guys for granted. Because I thought there were lots of fish in the sea. I thought there was an endless supply of available ones. Hi, I'm swimming ako sa kanila. But I realized that's not really the case, especially as I got old. Oh, all, always busy. I realized that there's not a vast sea of choices, that there's actually just a small pond of good and compatible ones. So the lesson learned is hold fast to the good catch. Okay, we have come to the third lesson. And here's where it gets a little dark. <gasps> Shocks brown out? Ayan, come on guys, let's not get literal. The third lesson I learned about love is to stop. Look and listen? <laughs> no, 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 no. The third lesson I learned about love is to stop. Collaborate and listen? Ang dami mo alam, doon ka muna. Masyado na matalino, dami mo alam. The third lesson I learned about love is to stop. In the name of love? Stop, look, and process. Always watch the actions and never override that with anything you hear. Oh, he kicks. Hi, Charlotte. Uh, is that my robe you're wearing and my bag? This one, this is mine. This is not yours. So manly kaya nito. Bakla, magnanakaw. Ano pa gusto mong accuse sa akin? Oh, makes sense. Sorry, kicks. That was based on a true story. So when it comes to your potential partners, Put them on mute. To see is to believe. Actions speak louder than words. Stop, look, and process. The fourth lesson I learned is that delayed gratification. Wow, big word. The fourth lesson I learned about love is that delayed gratification will save you from heartbreak. The problem with love is that we do stupid things in the name of love. It cancels out our brain activities. And the only thing that can save us from this stupidity is if we calm down, slow down, turn on slow-mo. The heart acts as if it is on the set of The Fast and the Furious. Para siyang honor student, lagging advance. Ah uh, guys, tapos na yung line. Okay na, wag na OA. Okay. And you know the heart's motto seems to be the early birds catch the worm. <laughs> Bakit naman uod ang gusto mong hulihin? Eh if you wait a little longer, you might catch a fish. The friend zone is a safe zone. And you know what the golden rule about life? The harder to get, the harder to let go. Finally, we have come to the last one. You know, out of all my relationships, there is one standout amongst them all. For sure, that's me, right? I put a ring on it. For sure, for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah. 
You know, the best, the most standout, the most memorable relationship I've ever had is the one that I had with my single self. Cheesy, I know. I hate cheese. Said no one ever. My singlehood was my big love. And if you're currently not in a relationship or has chosen not to be in one indefinitely, then you are living your best life. The kind of life that some of us on the other side of the fence dream of. Nobody else anchored to you, nobody to answer to, no limitations as to where you can go, what you can buy, and what to do with your time. And the thing is, you won't even appreciate it. Not until you've been cornered into marriage. What's up, B? Corned beef. I'm craving for some corned beef. Ah, okay, me too. Sounds good. I get some. You know, one of the greatest truths about love comes from a song. And the song goes, learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. There's just no better way to coin it. There you have it, everybody. The five things I learned about love during my time as a single person. I hope it could be of some use to you to help you navigate this very confusing road of love or help you validate the right choice that you are already making. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I wish you the greatest love of all so that you can pass it on and carry it over to a great relationship. Bye, everybody. See you on my next upload.